Dolphins fans, welcome in to today's show. I am Will Scott. We got some news. We got some rumors to discuss on today's show. And before we get into today's show, you know that we're trying to become the number one Dolphins YouTube channel. So go down, subscribe. We bring you daily Dolphins videos. You know, it's funny, producer Jeremy Chuggs. I met a fellow Dolphins fan at my allergy shot place today. And he saw that I was wearing this. And I told him about, you know, what I do about the channel. And he's like, wait a minute. You do daily videos in the offseason every single day? Yes, we do every single day. Go down, subscribe to the channel. A shout out to David uh, at the Hallery Shot Place today, man. Hope you're watching. Now let's get into our first part of today's show. Uh, Two at Tungavailoa's parents were asked at a function last night about Tua's future. Here's what they said in a clip that went viral on Dolphins Twitter uh, this morning. Here's what they said. The power of prayer is truly amazing, not just local or in the United States, but global. Everyone around the world was praying for his healing. He's doing great. He's doing fine. He's happy. And that's the most important thing as parents. You want to see your kids with a smile on their face. Here is what they said if asked if he's going to retire. No, he comes back. That's their guy. They love him. We love them and what they're doing and how they're helping with his recovery and trying to get him back. We're very thankful for Miami, the organization, the owner, Chris Greer, and head coach Mike. And this is great to hear uh, from to his parents. We heard from his brother before Maryland's bowl game a few weeks back. He was kind of shutting down any retirement speculation. And then to his parents were asked last night about to his future, and they also said, that Tua Tungavailoa is going to come back. And we heard from Tua on Twitter last week basically saying that, you know, we're going to run it back and be back next year. So it's good to hear he's doing well in his recovery and obviously a priority this season for the Dolphins needs to be getting him fully healthy. Go down in the comments section. Show some love to QB1. Type Uno down in the comments section. Go and type Uno for our guy Tua Tungavailoa who's doing well and whose family has all said that he is going to be back playing in the National Football League next season. Perhaps Jordan Poyer might be his new teammate. And there has been a lot of buzz in recent days about the possibility of Buffalo Bills safety Jordan Poyer joining the Miami Dolphins next year. He is set to become an unrestricted free agent. We'll get into some Twitter posts from him in a second, but... Uh, it, it's very interesting, his social media activity uh, this week. So he liked an Instagram comment saying he would come to Miami. Again, he's set to become an unrestricted free agent. One of the best safeties in the league would be a massive addition to this Dolphins defense. I mean, he has been a phenomenal player his entire career. And again, uh, this, this buzz kind of started when he liked an Instagram comment saying that he should come to the Miami Dolphins. And this has kind of jump-started some Poyer to Miami rumors that we're going uh, to see here in the coming weeks. He's probably going to be a guy that we see linked to Miami, maybe a guy the Dolphins pursue in free agency. We'll get into more about Jordan, po- Jordan Poyer in a second. First, I want to tell you about today's show sponsor, Athletic Greens. I take AG1 every single day and feel so much better since I've gotten into that routine. Get comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition at athleticgreens.com slash chatsports. I gave AG1 a try because I wanted better gut health and wanted a supplement that actually tastes great. I take AG1 every morning, and it makes me feel ready to take on my day. I came in to this year wanting to get healthier. Starting my year on AG1 has helped me do just that. I take it every morning. I feel happier, healthier, and more energized. Covering my nutritional basis for the day literally couldn't be any easier, which is why I trust Athletic Greens. I just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and drink it first thing each morning. Done. I also like that it costs less than $3 a day. Pretty good if you ask me. It's a really effective daily habit with the highest quality sourced ingredients. It's a win-win. The comprehensive solution, if a comprehensive solution is what you need from your daily supplement routine, The Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chatsports. That's athleticgreens.com slash chatsports. Check it out. 
The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. I love AG1. I take it literally every single day. And again, a lot of people are going to look at this and be like, man, I don't know if it's going to taste good. It tastes great. I really enjoy it. I add a couple ice cubes in there, chills it for about an hour. I love AG1, man. I take it every day. Athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That link is in the comments and the description of today's video. Do we have uh, the photo of Poyer? So we're going to show you the, the screenshot here uh, from this Instagram post saying that Jordan Poyer, I should say that Jordan Poyer wants to be a Miami Dolphin potentially. So the Instagram comment was like, man, it'd be awesome if you and Javon Holland played together and he liked it. So really interesting, certainly going to add uh, to some of the speculation we're hearing about Poyer to Miami. Taking a look at the safety depth chart, you already have Brand Jones and Javon Holland. So you're already really good at this position. Eric Rowe, Clayton Pagellum, Perone McKinley III, and Elijah Campbell uh, all in this safety room right now. Might look a little bit different, might not. Uh, Brandon Jones obviously uh, had that knee injury. He's going to work his way back from that. And then uh, Javon Holland is already you know top five, top ten safety in the league. Eric Rowe, one of the better backup safeties in the league. You know We'll see if they bring him back or not. Poirier this year dealt with some injury issues, uh, but he did finish the year with four interceptions, eight pass breakups, 63 tackles. He is probably a top three, top five safety in the NFL, if, if not higher than that. Now, do you want to sign Jordan Poyer? Type S for sign or type P for pass down in the comment section. Go down, let me know. Do you want to sign Jordan Poyer? It is the pinned comment on today's video. So reply to it when an ad break comes. Jordan Poirier to Miami. Do you want it to happen? Let me know down in the comment section. I'll, I'll say this. The Dolphins do not need Jordan Poirier. I think the talk has been a little bit disrespectful to Brandon Jones. I think Jones is a great player. I think him and Holland are one of the best safety tandems in the league. I just think there's bigger needs on this football team than bringing Poirier, who is not going to be cheap. To Miami, I already feel really good about the safety room. The cornerback position might be a different conversation, uh, but I don't think you have to upgrade at the safety position right now. However, there could be some mutual interest between Miami and Jordan Poyer. Miami, you know Chris Greer, he's a home run hitter. If there's a player like Jordan Poyer, who's one of the best players at his position in the league, he says, yo, his agent says, yo, you know, he wants to come to Miami you might have to bring him to Miami. You know, it's, it'd be tough to to turn down any possible mutual interest, and the Dolphins are certainly going to look to strengthen uh, the defensive side of the football. Here is that Instagram uh, comment. Jordan Poirier liked the comment saying, we need you in Miami. Pair you with Javon Holland would be crazy. He liked the comment, certainly uh, <laughs> setting Finn's Twitter on fire earlier this week. But also, I, I want, when you're talking about, you know, some mutual interest here between Poyer and Miami, keep in mind who his wife is. His wife is Rachel Bush. She is a supermodel, right? Where do you think she would rather be? Probably Miami, <laughs> if, if, we're, if it comes down between Miami and Buffalo. You know, I know supermodels tend to like Miami, uh, so... I think she specifically might have a big say in where uh, Poyer goes. And she uh, she said this the other day, tweeting that still taking time to process all this while packing our house completely up for the first time in six years. Hmm. They're moving out of Buffalo. Seems surreal. Bill's Mafia, regardless of what happens, whatever comes of Jordan's free agency this year, y'all have been amazing these past few years. Thank you. Jordan Poyer said this before the loss to the Bills. Bills fans, I just want to let you know that I appreciate everything that you've done for me and my family over the last six years. What is to come? We don't know. But if this is my last game at home, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've done. We'll forever be family. Sounds like a farewell to me from both Rachel Bush, who has said they're packing up their Buffalo home, they're moving, and then Poyer saying, we'll always be family. I appreciate y'all. It's kind of similar to the Gesicki post from last week. Certainly sounds like Jordan Poyer knows he's leaving Buffalo and is saying farewell to the Bills. Miami probably going to emerge as a favorite to land Poyer in 
free agency. One hit on this news before we go. The Jets are hiring former Broncos head coach Nathaniel Hackett. As a Dolphins fan, I think this is a phenomenal hire for the New York Jets. Clap it up for the Jets. Bringing Nathaniel Hackett to town. I think Dolphins fans will approve of that hire. And with Nathaniel Hackett's history with Aaron Rodgers, though, the Aaron Rodgers, the Jets rumors are certainly going to heat up. They've already heated up this week after there was a report from Peter King earlier this week saying the Packers want two first-round picks to trade Rodgers. They're only going to trade him to the AFC, and the Jets are more than willing to meet that asking price. So you have that report, and then you have Nathaniel Hackett, his former offensive coordinator, being the OC, being hired as the OC in New York. Aaron Rodgers might be a Jet. We'll see. Would Aaron Rodgers to the Jets scare you? Him in the division, would that scare you? Type Y for yes, type in for no. He's still a good quarterback. Uh, I don't know if he's in his prime anymore, uh, but that'd certainly be a big upgrade for the Jets. Bringing in Rodgers. I do think he has better options. I think staying in Green Bay, he maybe has a better chance to win there. I think, and I understand the Green Bay had a disappointing year, but they at least finished the year somewhat strong uh, going, I think, what, 3-4-1 in their last couple games. I think Tennessee might be a better option. Uh, Mike Vrabel's heck of a coach. Tennessee, uh, you know, they have some question marks around that offensive line, around some of those weapons. I do think he has better options, though, than the New York Jets, but the Jets certainly the favorites to get him if he gets traded. Go down and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to become the number one Miami Dolphins YouTube channel. Go down, hit that big red subscribe button, uh, show the channel some love. We'd certainly appreciate it. Thank you.